Hey, this is Chris with another SQL Minute. In this episode, I want to talk about the like operator and how you can use it to partially match values on a column. So you probably already know how to write a filter for your query and select uh, rows that match a criteria. And in this example here, we are matching rows uh, where the last name is Bailey from the Adventure Works person person table. And when I run this, you'll see that we get 95 rows. But there's also a way where I can come in and do partial matches. For instance, let's say I want to find every person whose last name starts with the letter BA. What I can do is I can use what's called the like operator. And let me change my query here real fast. And I can say last name like and you see where I say BA, so it's like Bailey. And then I'm using here, it's a percent key. This is the symbol that's above the five on a US keyboard. And when I run this, it's gonna run through and it's gonna match every last name and it's gonna match them where the first two characters are BA and then any characters thereafter. The percent sign means match anything past that. So it's kind of like a pattern match. So let's see what happens when I run this. As you can see, now I'm getting 284 rows. It got uh, Belcazo, Bailey, and as I scroll through, you can see Baker and Barnes and others. So it's definitely matching everything that starts with a BA. Um, now, likewise, I could run this query and find uh, names that end in a certain letter. So let's do starts with anything and must end in a Y. So there we have percent Y. So match any characters you want, but the last character must be Y in the last name. So if I run this, you'll see I get Bailey. And as I continue on, I'll get Gray and Kelly. In fact, there's 640 rows. So that's a great way to do a, um, do a wild card to match the end. Now, another one I want to show you is where you can uh, match people that are in a range. So I'm going to bring in a whole new query here, and we're going to get all the people whose last name starts with A, B, or C. So you can see here we used uh, the brackets, and then A dash C, so that means the range of characters A through C. And when I run this, it's going to be any last name that starts with A, B, or C, and then matches anything else. So if I did, for instance, A through D, I should get more than 3,500 rows. In fact, I get 4,000 rows. And if I did, um, curiously, A through Z, I would expect to get everything. So here I get 19,972 rows. And that should be the same thing as if I comment out the last name um, filter all together and run it. And I get 19, the same. The, um, I guess that's 19,972 rows. So uh, there's another good way of being able to filter out is to use the, the range. So hopefully that'll get you started in thinking about using patterns. There's other clauses to use, but we're running out of time. And I at least wanted to introduce you to the light clause so it doesn't seem so scary anymore. Thank you very much for listening today. Take care.